I'm a more confident person. Um, I, I love myself. You know, I've been able to look in the mirror and say that to myself and say it to myself when I go to bed at night. I feel finally fully kind of aligned and in my person and in my body for the first time ever. You know, honestly, I guess where I'm at today versus where I was when I started with you in the program is is night and day. Um, Tell me more. Night and day difference. I'm a more confident person. Um, I, I love myself. You know, I've been able to look in the mirror and say that to myself and say it to myself when I go to bed at night. Like, dude, it's it's been life changing. Ah! Yeah, it, dude, mind blown, you know, and, and I've like, I tell everyone I can about you and where to get your resources. <laughs> Thank Seriously. you, brother. You know, awesome. um, it's not a coincidence that you came into my life at the time that you did. Like, it's not a coincidence. It kind of showed up at, at, at the right time when I needed it the most. Um, yeah. And so, you know, in, you know, with doing your program currently, and I also have you know, a, a therapist that I see in person every every couple of weeks that I've been with for about two years. What did she Kyle, say? She's noticed a big difference. She's, um, you know, she's bought into, or not bought into, but I share the stuff we do on this end with her and, and it kind of works in tandem. So it's been a really nice go between. Great. Use your methodologies and your work because she does, a, she likes to do inner child work and um, those methodologies and that sort of stuff too. Cool, so cool. I can take what I learned with you and, and use it in practice with her and kind of vice versa. So it's yeah. been nice for me to have those, those both perspectives, but there's a lot of similarities, you know, Beautiful. With methodologies and stuff that I, that I use. Beautiful. Um, but if I had to summarize it all kind of in a short encapsulation before I started with you, kind of with where I was in my life and my relationship cycles and all that stuff, like I felt completely like disembodied and separated, right? Like just all these different parts of me kind of every, kind of everywhere out there in the ether, right? Sounds that, confusing. <laughs> yeah. Like, and now that I've worked with you and learned these, you know, learned this stuff, really learned what it was about myself that I was struggling with. I feel finally fully kind of aligned and in my person and in my body for the first time ever. You know, because I didn't know what I didn't know, right? But now, yeah. you know, and with my brain, the way my brain works, it, once I started learning about what these things were and what, what those pieces and parts were of my self and my inner child and all that, I was able to when I can compartmentalize it, you know, almost like put them in little windows folders in my brain. Right. It makes like sense. It Sounds like it's all kind of made sense to you. Yeah. Like I knew there was something wrong, right? I knew something was going on. I couldn't put all the pieces together. Now I've been able to put all the pieces together so that I, I have identified these things and now I can set goals, right? And I can work on those things. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. What was going on in your life before you started like specifically tell me what was happening i'm 48 um i've been divorced twice the first marriage uh was when i was in my like i was like 30 i lived in uh, st louis missouri um i was the guy that was gonna you know save this woman and be the knight in shining armor and, right I was gonna oh yeah be, yeah right I was gonna oh yeah somebody. oh yeah i hear you i hear you i've been and, i'm there you know <laughs> red flags yeah. what like what's a red flag i don't know what that is F this i just you know i'm gonna save this person right and yeah. you just completely ignore all that bullshit until you're like so just broken inside that you don't yeah. know what you're gonna do right yeah. and that i mean that ended before like that was like 10 months long i mean it ended before yeah a okay. thing so my second wife was uh here in indianapolis we got married in 2011 that was lasted about almost 10 years. Um, mm. What I realized after Rewire uh, was that that whole relationship, the polarity was completely reversed. I was exactly. I was completely emasculated. Like seriously, <laughs> it's, you know, it's funny. I always used to, cause I'm a nurse. That's my, by yeah. I'm a nurse. And yeah. she, was an she was an architect. 
Oh God. And so, you know, I'm working three twelves. I have two days off. I'm doing the shopping. I do all the budgeting, like, right. All that. So I used to joke with people like, Hey, you know, our roles are reversed. Right. But unco- I, I didn't realize, dude, that's why it's all up. That's why it couldn't work. Yeah. Because your instincts were not getting, neither of your instincts were getting your needs met. And that whole relationship actually started kind of over like, she needs a shoulder to cry on. I'm this, you know, strong person. I never knew yeah. her dad without cancer and her grandma was always sick. And so we were always together worrying about the next phone yeah. call who was in the hospital, right? It's the next rescue operation for you. Yeah, we lived yeah. like roommates for like seven years. We didn't have sex, we weren't intimate. Um, yeah, no polarity. Zero. And so that blew my mind um, during Rewire, which like after Rewire and after I got back from my vacation, I was like, I got to rest from it. Like it was all amazing, but I had to like step back and like, really let it. Integrate. It's called yeah. integration. You know, yeah, you have to integrate really, it. Yeah. Like um, an ayahuasca journey, you go through that and then you got to come come back and take a little bit of time and let the dust settle and go, yeah. what the f- did I just go through? And right. Tell me what you kind of have have realized, or um, you know, the biggest wins and uh, what you've realized since then. I think the biggest uh, like wins, the biggest realizations for me was now. Now I understand why those things didn't work. Sounds like the shame of it has been dissolved. Absolutely, that's that's yeah. definitely huge because I used to be the guy that was like, oh, I can't tell anybody that I've been divorced twice. And now I'm like, I've been divorced twice and I go to therapy and it's it's awesome, right? With a smile on my face. You know what I mean? Like, I'll tell anybody that wants to know. You're doing the work. Yeah, I'll tell anybody that wants to know because it's radically changed me as a, you know, from the inside. Um, Beautiful. There's still a long way to go, right? There's still a process and a journey. I've got work to do, we all do, but. Still day one. Right, but now I have an understanding of what was going on. You know, I feel, like whole and uh, in love with myself for the first time. And now I have, I've created an outline of steps to take now that I can still keep working on. Cause I've still got Beautiful. stuff in the psycho breaker folder to work through. I want to get, you know, Perfect. Perfect. taken Perfect. care of. And, um, Perfect. I plan to go back through all the stuff from rewire and really sit down and journal through it and study it um, and work well, on that stuff. So what had you choose to work with me? Why me over somebody else? Um, I mean, you were going to a therapist. Why did you decide to work with me? I actually found you on Instagram randomly at okay. a point in time, and I kind of dove in and I watched. Um, I watched a couple. I watched some of your anxious attachment stuff because that's what I was working on with Sarah, my yeah. therapist, and just the way you spoke, your mannerisms, kind of your your no holds barred, and just you don't pull any punches. You just kind of speak your truth and speak your mind. It, like the way you taught and the way you spoke really connected with me. And so I decided to really try to journey down that rabbit hole because I thought it was something that I could get something, you know, that Beautiful. I could get something out of because I just felt, even though I didn't know you, I just felt like you kind of spoke my language. Amazing. Um, Amazing. And that really drew me to you. Awesome. And so the last question that I have is what would you say to somebody who is on the fence, especially men? Men traditionally shy away from looking at their own shadows as you know it's, it's too yeah. shameful to look at what would you say to a man who's been struggling in a relationship i would say just kind of knowing how i'm wired i'm even though i'm a nurse i have a background in design i'm an artist like i'm more of kind of the right brained art on your sleeve you know emotional passionate creative type but I really feel after learning about this stuff and going through what I've worked on with you, I feel actually more, I can still be that, but I feel more masculine in my person than I have before. And I can own, I can own it. And so I think true masculinity is being able to, to really do that, right? And, and now I feel like I have the tools to start to really really do that so I feel like I've actually really discovered my masculinity you know as a part of going down this going down this road and I would I would highly recommend it to any guy that feels like you know he needs something I mean 
that's kind of my spin on it. But I really feel like I've been able to actually own own it now um, and work through that process. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. That's Absolutely. It.